back with Super Auto Pets. Let's open up the casino. Will NL win this game? No, that's Mario Party. Will NL get six wins or more? Okay. Will NL get six wins or more? Can I tell you something? I got an achievement recently. I don't remember what it is. But I got an achievement. Anybody recognize? Oh, is this it? Is this... This was like a good one for me. When I saw... When I saw the opportunity for this, I was like, that's very exciting. I thought there was one more. Like, maybe I've never had a level 3 micro before, but I didn't get to 10 wins. I'm not saying we're gonna get all the achievements. Like, I'm not gonna make this an achievement run. Because I'd rather just put myself in a position to win. But... Anytime I see the opportunity, if we're already pogging, I'm going to give it a try. I am going to say one more thing, though. Where's chicken? You piece of shit. I had, a, I had a flawless run. Five wins in five rounds. Was crushing it. Figured, you know what? People say the chicken is good. I'm going to give it a try. I got tons of chickens. I, I figured I had so much HP... All I gotta do is get the chicken, and like, if as long as things are scaling, it will still have a chance to get us to 10. Real voice reveal, I apologize. Lost every single round from that point onwards. I lost like five rounds in a row right after buying the chicken. That's why I had a cup of tea last night. Because I'm shouting too much on the streams! But then you gotta keep shouting in order to get over the phlegm barrier. Sorry, it just choked me up a little bit. Where are we at? Free to play. Okay, you love to see it. You know what? I, I still love to see it. Give me one of these. Give me one of these. Give me one of these. I like this anti-ant setup. I love this start. I love this start. Mm. I mean, as, if we're talking about name options, this has got to be like one of the best. There's so many. I mean, Witty Masseuses has a certain je ne sais quoi to it. A masseuse that can make you relax and laugh. But I mean, come on. Creamy nuts, creamy buttocks. I mean, when you get the chance, you gotta give it a shot. I don't want to be like, you know, insanely lewd. But I feel like the creamy buttocks makes more sense. Unless you came on your own nuts or someone came on your nuts. I suppose that's not true. We don't need to get into it. But... <laughs> We'll just move on instead. And this is a tough choice. Of all these animals, I'll take a mosquito. Are insects? Yeah, they're part of the animal kingdom. That's an embarrassing question for someone who has a four-year degree in biology. They're certainly not plants. They're not mushrooms, I think. <laughs> I don't think they're bacteria, although they kind of look like really big bacteria. When you think about it. This honestly is like the most pure borderline round three or, or tier three you can pick up. Three, five. The stats are good. It's a tier above everything else we got. But it's kind of ass long term. That being said, I think you give it a try. I'm not freezing an apple, though. I might just give you some meat. Maybe accelerate our cause here a little bit. I honestly wish to buy none of this. Um, I genuinely wish to buy none of this. I'm going to buy a crab because its stats are the best. And I don't want to fall too much HP behind if I can, uh, if I can do so. But the crab is very much not long for this world. That hurt me. That hurt me a great deal. Too bad you can't short sell animals. Hedgy spotted. Get him. Okay, you're gone. This, this is good. Again, I, I always have to say this. For the believers, this is actually a good situation. I know you might consider that this looks like a meme, but this is actually good. I'll freeze one apple. No, because like you got to play the tape forward. You take the elephant, you put it in the crab spot, okay? 
Two damage, two damage. The elephant has one HP. It does one damage to the blowfish and kills it. I don't want that. What I want is a, a blowfish that's slightly stronger. The crab's gonna get sold soon anyway. We're going up a tier, hopefully, on our next level. I hate to see an ox. Let me tell you that much. I, I'll tell you that much. I hate to... Well, or what? Or do I? Or do I? Let's go! Hmm. Didn't freeze elephants. Doubter spotted. Elephants um, are detritus. They're a detritus animal. As soon as you find yourself taking them, you've already messed up. Take one of these. Take one of these. Garlic is critical. Turtle, not so much if we're rolling hedgehogs. Garlic, absolutely essential. I don't think it's a double garlic situation. <clears throat> you could think about you could think about a cra or a, a giraffe, but I think this is okay for now. Bunny on the front. No, I don't value the bunny as much as I value the surprise positioning of our hedgehogs. You're lucky. You're lucky. I'm going to be honest, this is a scary situation for the believers, but I, I am a believer myself. So we're just going to go a little sicko mode. Hey, Nick, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. That makes me feel like you believe in what I'm doing here, and that matters to me. So I appreciate that. I'm going to say combine and run an ox. I know this seems a little strange, but I think the value is, is true. I see a salad. I'm a happy man. If you put rabbit in front, you don't miss damage. Do we have to do this every... Oh my god, I'm stupid. Um, do we have to do this every single time? Let me teach you something about... Oh, oh, no, no, no! No! Oh! Let me teach you something, okay? You look at this rabbit and you say, that's four damage wasted. I look at every hedgehog that's placed further back and I look at that as, okay, maybe their horse lives longer. Okay, maybe later a turkey lives longer and then I'm taking 40 extra damage because of like some turkey fly bullshit because I wanted to get four extra damage out of the rabbit. You don't know what you're talking about. You haven't crunched the data. You went to the University of Dude Just Trust Me and you're out here like, whoa, placement. This thing doesn't even exist in battle. It has no reason to exist in battle. In the shop, though, it's a damn legend. Okay, we do have to figure out how the ox is going to survive. A salad would help. That's fine. Um, I guess we could just do it like this for a second. That's fine. Get a little bit more utility out of it that way. Three rabbits? You're in a world of hurt if this blowfish hits. Oh, you... Oh, no, no. Okay. I'm going to say yes and yes. And yes. All right. We really only have one good unit. That's not fantastic. But it is kind of funny. That's... Dude, what a beautiful shot. Oops, we win these. This blowfish ain't shit 45 minutes later. <gasps> I'll take another salad. Like, we need to go to the next level here. I don't know how we're going to do that. I mean, like, honestly, as much as... You know what? The rabbit, it deserves it. It's it's helping us out here. You're going to die. It's very tough to force a tiger in this build. Source dude, just trust me. I actually... I don't know. I'll take a level two uh, hedgehog next turn. I don't really care for another rabbit. We do care for more food. What we really want to see is a blowfish, to be honest. I think we, with our newfound space, we, um, we can fit a skunk to maybe counter the skunks that we're going to go up against. Three hedgehogs is kind of interesting. There you go! I sniped the turkey, you piece! Haters will say it's fake. Oops, we win again. Four wins. 
holy, holy cow. I was going to say holy crow. And then in my head, I was like, that's not a word, man. Okay, how about three hedgehogs? First, though, first, hit me. Buy me. Feed me. You might as well go to the front, I suppose. I don't want that extra rabbit. More sushi, please. Sure. You know what? We could, we could probably think about a cow and a pear. And if we're going to do that, we might as well freeze a whole damn shop, man. Your team is so weak. What happened? I think I still lose. <laughs> ah, but not by much. Holy cow. Okay, we need a... We need a skunk out there. The skunk respect door has logged on. Um, let's start here. Then here. I'm thinking, okay? Then here. Here. It's tough because you're already going to be close to max. I think I'm actually going to sell, buy, and double milk our skunk here. Now, we're lucky to live to our next round because one-ups and stakes could be the difference maker here. <clears throat> Alternatively, by the way, we could just lose. That's definitely an option. There, there it is. There it is. Unless... Oh, from the grave? Very important. We might as well put it on you first. And then let's send you. Let's send you up a level. Why don't you just take a stake if we don't get a one-up? Okay. Now this is... It's a scary moment for the believers. We don't have the damage output that I need. However... Hold on. Hold on with the howevers. Hold on. You hit the badger. The badger kills the swan. Now you got a freaking bee. Okay. Two chocolates, please. I'm going to stick with that steak for now because I'm scared. You really need to level up. But I'm going to go with more sushi because the HP is, is more... Uh, immediately relevant. We could take a skunk up a level. Okay. This has no chance of getting to 10, I think. But, uh... It has a chance of getting to 6. Let's go. That's, that's insane. That's huge. I'm pogging. Oh, come on! We were almost there. Now, the next... I know you're going to say level 3 hedgehog. I, I'm not an achievement-based gamer, you know? If I'm watching my favorite team play hockey, if I'm watching the Canucks beat on some garbage team, like, uh, you know, the Kraken, there's not that many that are worse than us, to be honest, so I got to choose carefully. I don't want them to do spinoramas at center ice with the last man back, okay? I want them to put the other team in a chokehold. Until they tap out and be like, we're going to leave for the AHL. So, the Hedgehog is the meme play. Instead, we go for the level 2 Skunk, which is the start, the smart play. And then we get a little 2 for 1 pizza. Kraken swept the Panthers this year. I've been there. When your team is in last place, you legitimately will take like any moral victory. We might be in last, but, you know, in this incredibly small data set where we played a team two times, we won both of the games. Okay, there's the believer threshold. That's very nice. Now, how do you do this? To get to the next level, we would very much like our blowfish to get a little stronger. I think we got to keep some sushi pumping. I will add one hedgehog. <clears throat> into the ecosystem. I can't believe the believers made it. 
It was looking. I, I didn't tell you guys because I did. You know, you never want to hear like your pilot be like, oh, we're in a lot of trouble. But I was like, we're definitely going to lose. <laughs> There's no shot. I can't believe we made it. All right. Exact believer threshold. You love to see it. Either way, we take those. Choose prediction. Choose outcome. Yes, we did get six wins or more. Start a prediction. Run it back. Okay, now we can we can aim for ten. Now that was like just for fun. You could take a beaver. Oh my god. Spicy salami. Five three. Be an iconic gem, like a topaz. I don't like big pig, man. Like. I mean, don't sweat the early game. The early game is going to be not so good in all likelihood. I just don't see how we, we scale out of this. We are going to have a level 2 on turn 3. That's good. Did you like the movie? I haven't seen the movie. I can't believe we got a draw. I will, I'll see the movie at some point. It might not be till the 2030s. I'm just being real with you. I know that it seems really far away right now, but there's lots of movies from the 2010s that I have not seen yet. And we're in the 2020s. Like, it only seems far away until it's there. Okay. Okay. Hey, Pastor Meat Sauce. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. I think I'm going to do this. Nobody benefits that much from meat, man. That's the problem. But I'm not like a, an apple is like a slap in the face. So why don't you roll me? We'll look for something a little bit more prudent. I would say none of it really worked out. I'm, I choose not to invest in our mosquito. We could have taken a cricket. It does get two triggers on the, on the ox. But I'm just kind of like uninspired to buy a cricket just to get two triggers, you know? Like, I, I would rather roll for something that's a little bit more long-term exciting. You know, like a swan, for example. Um, I, I do care if we lose this one. Because if we win, we're minimum two losses away from, a, from being on lethal. So to win this one, let's give a unit that is sticking around honey for our best chance. This seems very makeable. All right, we take those. The honey didn't matter, but that's okay. You never know until you try. These are still all bad. Um, salad, don't hit a mosquito or an otter. In hindsight, like, there's no way that's ever going to... Okay, the second one actually turned out super well. These are all bad again, but this is not so bad. <clears throat> Garlic, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to freeze a garlic, but I'm really looking for a turtle to give the, the pig some melon armor. That's the only way it sticks around. I'm always scared of a front whale, man. Because it means they know something I don't know. Roll once. No turtle. That's fair. Don't hit the sheep. Thank you. That's very nice. Okay, I'll give you one of those. I roll. I roll for these. I don't want a, a better sheep. I do want a level 3 pig. That's going to be a nice level up. I think we probably pill an otter or a sheep in front of our ox next time. That's what we freaking talk about. Even though we just got the garlic for the pig, I'm okay with this. No problem. No problem. No problem. Dude, the ox is too good. I'm just going to say it. I am going to buy you.
I'm going to pill you. We need, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell you. You both have to go, I'm sorry. I'm gonna sell you. And I'm gonna sell you. I'm going to can, buy you, buy you, roll with you for one round, and then see how the mood strikes me. I don't mind this. <clears throat> what are your thoughts on Robert Pattinson? Got nothing against him, um, which I think is probably the consensus take now. I... Oh, hello, Simvicta. Hello. I was not part of the target audience for Twilight, so I never really had any, like, anti-Twilight resentment for Robert Pattinson. And I think he's chosen some good movies since then. I, it, weirdly enough, I don't hold any resentment for Twilight, but I do hold some resentment towards him for High Life, which was just insane, like, already to the point of indulgence, but anyway, we've gone past this. We're going to pill you. Someone's getting fed. Why shouldn't it be you? You scale yourself. Hard to scale two units at the same time. You know what's an interesting play? I don't know if I'd say good. I'd probably stop short of saying good. But an interesting play. No, these... We only have one... That's stupid. Okay. I think our team is actually kind of great right now. But never thought I'd see a Claire Denis disrespecter log on. Honestly, that movie, like, is... is bad, in my opinion. Like, I, I think it's... Uh, I'm not one of those people who's like, movies shouldn't be like school. Like, they should always be entertaining and there should be, like, more explosions and, like, you know, nude scenes. But, like, that movie, it just had nothing. I've got a... I'll watch a... Your Ghost Lant the Most film and be like, what the hell? This is incredible. But that was just too much for me, man. It was just too much. Do a more imaginative build, please. Okay. <clears throat> Salty doubter spotted. Salty doubter spotted. Let me just check something here. I'm just checking something. Kongon. Do a more imaginative build, please. Flair. Predicted no. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. We're already on six wins. I guess a big pig... And a crocodile, which we never use, aren't that interesting. That's my bad. That's my bad on that one. Hmm. I will say, I'm struggling to see how we're going to get to 10. Although the crocodile is close to leveling, I think we our hopes and dreams hinge on the bison getting to level 2. I also got to say, I think it's time to say bye-bye to the swan. Pick up a skunk instead. The swan just didn't get there. But I thank it for its service. In the meantime, chocolate, please. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> Why do I feel you're balder than before? It's true. I shaved yesterday. I've been known to do it. All right, you're a piece. We could drag in this. And scale these three. We could. We could. I'm going to say sell, sell, buy, and try. Sell pig. That's like so deleterious, and you're not even a doubter. Like, we're past the doubter threshold. It doesn't even matter now. Some people just want to, like, draw blood. Yes? Yes? 
You ever try and let your beard grow really far out? Honestly, like I... The beard lobby is like so powerful. I don't want to insult anybody. Like I don't I don't want to get the beard lobby on my case. I think for me it just looks like like ass. <laughs> and kind of like feels like ass as well. I got nothing against the beard. Like don't don't paint me as being in the in in an anti-beard corner cuz that's like genuinely not the case. Like, when I look at myself with a beard, I'm like... I like it for, like, two days. And then after that, I'm like, why are you trying so hard? Just shave your face. It's just, the other thing is, like... It's easy to trick yourself into thinking that a beard is low maintenance, but it's actually like the opposite. Like it's way easier to just trim your entire face with like an electric beard trimmer or, or razor than it is to maintain like a nice looking beard. Oh my God, that was scary. I still think we can make it. The, the level 2 dragon is, is a heck of a scaler, man. I don't know if we got the, the money to get to a level 3, though. Like, I thought that when we had our baby, that would be a great time to grow a beard because, like, I wouldn't have so much time. I'm stupid. This is a 4 squad. Rip. <laughs> But actually, that was a terrible time to grow a beard because it's way... Oh my god, what a what a read, man. It's way more uh, annoying, at least. That was just an incredible team. Calamity Circus, that's, that's a wonderful build. I gotta give you a lot of credit for that one. Amazing team. Hold on, though. We're gonna choose outcome. I will get six wins or more. I'm gonna, if you're watching on YouTube, I apologize. I can feel like I'm, I've been shouting too much this week. I'm gonna go get a cup of tea. I'll be back in a second. I'm gonna, I'm leaving the casino on though. One moment, please. Dude, honestly, like one of the best kitchen inventions, those hot water heaters that you can just hit a button and fill a cup with uh, hot water. I know that a, a, a kettle is convenient as well and it, it boils pretty fast, but like the hot water heater, I mean, you can't get any faster than instant, I suppose. Just convenient to have around. One. Honestly, we should be pretty impressed with the last run that we made Big Pig get to a Believer win. And that's all that needs to be said about that. Be the pouting swimmers. Ryan Lochte. Coffee making systems tier list. Dude, so again, I you, you gotta milk the anecdotes where you can find them in this day and age, okay? When we were staying at that hotel, 
It was a, a fancy hotel. Give it to me like that. So in our hotel room, there was an, uh, an espresso, which I had never had before in my life. I've had K-cups before, obviously, but I've never had an espresso. I, lo I couldn't figure out how to use the machine at first to begin with. I had to, you know, like, reverse engineer it. Hold on. Tomo would like to come in as well. Hello, Tomo. You had, you had a snack? Then I, I got the K-cup in. I put the mug in. I pushed the button. I put the water in. I put the water in. It boiled and then it shit all the coffee into like where the k-cup is supposed to dump out and i said what the heck did i do it wrong so i like tried to reconfigure it i thought i had it i put the mug under put the k-cup in it shit out the coffee into the garbage can essentially again then we looked it up Apparently, if you don't run a descaling K cup through like once every two months, it gets clogged, and that's what can happen. I was like, man, I really would. I wish you just gave me like a percolator. You could buy a percolator in like 1960. You just throw the coffee into the percolator, it'll work until like the apocalypse. I'm not gonna call the front desk at 6.25 in the morning, ask them to come up with a descaling K-cup and then put it through my Nespresso like while well, my wife is breastfeeding our baby. It's just, that's just not in my, you know, in my repertoire. Just give me a, a, a coffee maker that is literally just like water and it, electricity. All right, hold on. Nothing. Something. Something. All right, we're, we're well positioned for the long term. In the short term, rip bozo. All right, that's enough, that's enough steeping. People literally wash their underwear in those. I live my life according to according to the ethos. What I don't know won't hurt me. How does that sound? If I saw someone wash their socks in the coffee maker, I would um, not drink from it. If I didn't see it, I'm not going to drive myself crazy thinking about all the fucked up stuff that human beings have done with this thing that is not designed for it. People have probably sucked off every doorknob you've ever touched in your life. If, if you live your life with that attitude, it's paralytic. You're going to turn into Howie Mandel. I know I already dressed the part, but... You know, like, somebody's probably died, like, in every building you've ever been in in your entire life, or at least, like, on the land that the building has been built on. You just get over it, man. Like, we're just, like, evolved apes. Somebody died here. Somebody jerked off here. Somebody took a dump in that thing. Okay, fine. As long as it doesn't affect me, like, just live your life. Okay, hold on. Step one. A good animal. Then we combine. And we level. And we level. And that was kind of sick. <laughs> that was kind of sick. What about someone dying while jerking off? There's that... I, I don't know if they were actually jerking off or it's just, if it's just like a great joke played by God. But that... Uh, like... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like preserved skeleton uh, at Pompeii. Where the guy got burned into like his final shape. And it was just him with his hand on his you-know-what. It's just, it's such a great image. We really, humans really are all the same. Like, at least going back into history. Like, they're just like us. 
You have less utility. You always take turtles. Sure, it's early enough. Forget garlic. I sleep on garlic. I gotta figure out a way to get a giraffe into the squad faster, man. We've, we've been sleeping on the giraffes a little bit. Hey, that's a... Don't call him a, a Roman David Carradine. That's a low blow. It's not like his... He was like, oh, I love jerking off in lava. And then he was like, oh, no, I'm dead. Like, it was... It, the volcano was coming anyway. What are you going to do? You know, he was like, I might as well just go out on my own terms. It's a very different situation. This is a dream penguin squad. So you're going to fit in place of the turtle for now. We're looking for a pill for our turtle. That's incredible luck. Thank you so much. Um, let's make our mosquito stronger because it's going to scale faster already. Let's buy you first. That's what I like to see. We, we know we need the swan to get up there. He wasn't jerking it. His arm curled from the burning. Are you part of his estate? Is that like in order to access the resources that he left you when he died in that volcano, you have to de delete his internet history every time? Anytime someone suggests that he was doing anything untowards, you just say, no, nah, no, nah, his arm was just curled. Yeah, for sure. Curled at the elbow with his hand attached to his penis, giving it one last go before the lava hit him. I don't know that. That's just the funniest interpretation of the story. Yeah, where his toes curled? That's a much better response. That's a good one. Oh, man. Can you even knock one out while you're dying? Well, look, the the funny answer is there's only one way to find out. The real answer is like, I mean, it's not like he, he probably stopped when the lava touched him would be my expectation. But, you know, before then, what are you going to do? Do you think you could rub one out while sprinting? Nah. I'm old, man. To be honest, I don't even know if I could do it standing up anymore. That's a young man's game. Okay, let's... We're, the believers are in a good position. Let's focus on... How do we get to 10 wins? You just scale. We don't care about a level 3 otter. We would care about a level 3 swan if one appeared... We don't need a monkey. I'm happy with the wide scaling. And I, I would love to see more melon armor for sure. That's that's the gimme right here. Is that why you always sit down while you're streaming? Excuse me, it's very presumptuous. I'm actually at a combination sit-stand desk right now. I'm just 5'10", so it looks like I'm sitting. Also, I'm sitting. I've never... But I could. Hold on. You can't do it much, but... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There we go. The switch still works. I'm happy to see that. The motor's not burned out. Okay, you need to get to 30 HP. It's mission critical. Hey, that's a 2-2. Two, two. I'll buy that. Chocolate. I would honestly maybe more important on our penguin than on our swan right now. Let's take it. You ever turn it to stand mode? No, my like cable management is so fucked that I'm pretty sure if I held the button down for like more than two seconds straight, um, it would unplug something. That's beautiful. Freeze me. Please. Melon is still good. We'll still buy melon. Why do you have that desk? Oh, I think I have a standing desk for this, well, the combination, for the same reason that anybody got a combination sit-stand desk, which is like, you know, maybe I'll stand. And then everyone was like, you're never going to stand. And I was like, fuck you, I make good choices in my life, and then they're absolutely right, I never stand. Dude, this is, we're going to 10. 
is not even up in the air. This team's going to the damn moon. I have bad back pain I stand most of the time. I honestly think I would be a worse streamer if I stood. I'm not against the standing. I get that it's, like, good. I just think I would be a worse streamer for sure. Because I'd be focusing a little bit more on the standing. Plus, when I game, if I'm standing, I'm like a bouncer. I'm like, yeah, I'm a fidgety stander. People wouldn't be able to watch me anymore. They'd be like, this guy's got a problem. He's schmoovin'. Don't say schmoovin'. It makes me want to play Super Mario 64. Because I did the classic thing last night where I watched um, Squeaks stream Super Mario 64 and get like a 17 minute 50 second PB. And I was like, I can do all the shit that he's doing, but I can probably do it even better. Then when I do it, I'm like, I can't even like walk up a ramp. How does he, how does he do it? I mean, I guess we'll give you one of these. Give you one of these. I don't really want the chocolate anymore. You know your run is good when you're like, I can't even use chocolate. This is disgusting. We can lose, but it's not going to be to this guy. Well, that was easy enough. Roll, sell, squeeze. Dude, that's, a, that's one for the Hall of Fame. Not the craziest team you're ever going to see in your life. But we got there. Also, like, fuck you. Not really, like, you're probably being, like, very positive about it. But, of course, our team kind of was not that inspiring. Like, did you see how bad our early shops were? We had no animals that did anything. The only thing we could do was get a penguin. Mind your profanity. So true. So true. So true.